sticks in your teeth twirl. Kind of coagulates on top of your roof of your mouth. Very deceptive chocolate bar, but delicious. I've written a screenplay. Um, it's inevitable this was going to happen. I'd prepped, along with my surprise, supplies, um, quite a lot of pads of paper and pen. And the inevitable has happened. I've written what I'm thinking could be maybe a masterpiece. Um, the best way to demonstrate it to you here is to basically just describe what it is, and I'll do that for you. Um, so it's it's basically a dystopian play, and it's set. It's a it could be a film, and it's set in the post in a post corona world. Int house night. <clears throat> Little girl down here. Daddy, what's that sound? Hmm? Oh, what? You mean? Do you mean silence? Yes. <laughs> there, was a, there was once a time when you would have asked me what the droning sound was and not the silence. There were, I grew up in an age when there wasn't any of you didn't have that, but now because of the great terror that spread throughout the world, as you know, and you've the world in which you've grown up in. Because of that, <clears throat> obviously these won't be the words, this is just the idea I'm getting across. Um, we, we have had to drone deliver everything, hence that. And as you know, now, um, the coronavirus was spread by Amazon as a way of readying, making the world susceptible to that cacophony of, of noise. That they're trying to do, they've been trying to do, but everyone said, No, look, I like the idea of a drone, but I don't want to be listening to that and looking up and seeing, you know, what look like giant wasps in the sky above me. Thank you very much. So they spread coronavirus. I'm not saying they did this, but this in my fictional world, they did it, and this is where we are. Anyway, I'll see you later, darling. And then he stops himself. I just, I, just, I was, I, he was going to kiss her. It's a habit that will never leave me. I love you. Goes out the door, goes to the front door, stands in the frame. Goes into the next bit where he puts on his hazard suit and sort of locks it all into position. And then he's ready to Hello, Mrs. Allen. And gets in his car, goes to work as normal. Front door. And then again, and he has to have his hat. He has to show his hands to a bunch of AI robots. And then when they're satisfied, he can go through. So, you know, they're all in their masks and. And then you think, what, 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 this is weird. And then you find out, because he sits down, and he's, he's an aide to the President of the United States of America. And you're thinking, oh, hang on, ah, you, just, he seemed an ordinary family man, but bam, he's in, he's there. Um, and we learn that basically what's happened is 5.2 billion people have died from this disease. And this is the world sort of having to live with it, having never, ever found a cure. So that's where I am with it. It's looking pretty good. Um, if anyone's got any suggestions, um, I'll probably be stealing things from the horrendous reality in which we're living now. I'm sure they'll inspire where I go with it. But as I say, we're going to be in lockdown for quite a while, so um, yet another another project to attend to. <laughs>